Okay guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone on um, firmware 2.2.1. And if I turn it on, settings, general, about, and you can see that it's on version 2.2.1. And if you can't see that, I'll, I'll show you on iTunes. And it's currently not jailbroken because there's no video. And I can't even scroll to the next page because there's no other page. And if I do, it's blank. So, yeah, there's no video or installer or IC. And now, if I move over to my computer, um, you're going to want to go to the link in the description and download Red Snow and it will be in a RAR file so you're going to type in the code download file oh wait that was a P sometimes it can be hard to see a lot or sometimes And then you can click regular download or premium to, if you have a premium. Uh, I'm going to open with Win RAR. Close this out. And here's Rich Note. You're going to extract this to somewhere on like your desktop. I've already done that. Now let's go to my desktop. Uh, iPod Touch 2G and here's Redstone um, open it up and here's Redstone, you're going to double click that you do not need to um, run as an admin if you're in Vista just simply double click it and now you're going to have to um, plug in your iPod into DFU mode so if you don't know how to do that um, it's going to teach you right here now on your iPod um, you're going to follow the instructions after you hit a key so now click return and make sure that your iPod is turned off and connected so hold the power button and, and turn it off and after that little spinny thing is gone you're going to click any key again um, click enter and now Follow the instructions. It also counts down for you, so you, you do not need to do that yourself. And at the beginning, it may catch you off guard. Um, so, if it does, just redo it and make sure to hold the power button first. And as you can see, it's doing its stuff and it's fine. My iPod it in DFU mode. And the counter might not even go all the way down to zero. It usually um, 10 seconds. It'll detect a DFU mode, and your iPod should go white and blink white a little bit. And after that, it's gonna say um, download jailbreak data on your iPod, and have a little hard disk or hard drive um, icon with a little arrow pointing down on it. And if you guys want to see that. I can open up this here and it's just in this box because this is the actual capturing box and the preview box and the uploading RAM disk part is um, gonna take some time the rest of it should go flying by and the reboot might not work sometimes for some people and I don't know why and as you can see Ritz now just closed out after it said rebooting and that's a good thing it should do that and now your iPod should have that little spinny circle right there so after that it's gonna give you the apple or a pineapple um, icon um, and then it's gonna say um, some things down here with a little loading bar so just let that go and I'll be back when that's done. After that's done, um, your iPod should restart. 
and there's the um, it's your starting with the Apple logo and your computer should also detect it and as you can see I have successfully jailbroken mine as I have Cydia right here and just to show you that Cydia works um, who are you? Uh, yeah I usually go for user which is graphical only Did I connect to the internet? No, I did not. Okay, so if you get um, an error that says you can't connect, you're going to have to restart your iPod. Um, this is just what happens after you um, jailbreak it, and I don't know why, but that's just what you got to do. Um, as you can see, Cydia is working for now. And... All you have to do is pretty much connect to the internet and you should be good to go with your new jailbroken iPod Touch 2.2.1. Uh, next I'm going to show you guys how to get installer and um, update to 3.0 for free, um, final version, and how to jailbreak that one too. So it's coming up guys.